He wants you to remember the real him. He wants you to remember the, the side of him when he was happy, when he was smiling, because that was really him. What you saw when he was confused, when he was dazed, when he was argumentative, when he was a different person, that was the illness. That was not your son. <laughs> Look at her face. She looks like she's seen a ghost. Are you kidding me right now? We've been waiting. <laughs> We've been to so many readings with you. <laughs> oh, I can't um, believe this is happening. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And where were you guys from? Hesperia, California. Oh, great. Well, first of all, there's a couple of different souls that I'm oh connecting to. And right away when I'm connecting on the other side, there's a young male that's here. That's oh, oh my God. Speak. My brother. Because when I, and first of all, wait a minute. Did your mom's mom also pass? Did your grandmother depart? Her grandmother, yes. But this, he's there with the, I, he's telling me it's his grandmother. So I'm not sure if that's your mom or if that was his grandmother. Your grandma it Morgan. would be my grandma Morgan, my grandma, oh. my dad's mom. Because he keeps telling me I'm with, I'm with my grandmother, I'm with my grandmother. So know your son is here and that that oh. is with him on the other side. Because you've been wondering who your son is with and who's connected with him. And first of all, I got to tell you that, and this is how it works, by the way. I love this because as, as excited as you are to connect with your loved ones, you got to understand that your loved ones are excited to connect with you. And they're pulling me to all these, or to all of you trying to get message after message. Your son just said to me, he goes, Matt, he goes, I can't believe I can actually speak to you like this. Like he was a little bit of a non-believer here in this world. Yes, him. yes. And what's so crazy is he actually tells me, he goes, Matt, you don't understand what my family does for me. He goes, you and your mother are always trying to, he goes, everything they think are signs. He goes, they're, you're, they're always trying to connect with me in all these different ways. They're talking to me, they're speaking to me. He goes, they do all these different things. And your brother also wants to thank you for the tattoo. So did you <laughs> He says to me, if she talks, if you talk about the tattoo, she'll know this is real. Yes. We got our tattoo. We have tattoos. He had a tattoo behind his ear and we went and got the same ones after he passed. Shut the hell up. So no, it's his way of acknowledging that. Cause he says to me, he's going to nap. They didn't know what else to do for me. He goes, you don't understand. He says to me, they go, they have clothing of mine. He has say things of mine. He says, they're going, he goes, they, they did things with my pictures. Cause he showed me like, you even have his, your picture on your phone or that's on the back. I have a memorial. Yes. He's showing, listen, I know everything that you did. Cause he's acknowledging to me. He says, to me that he goes I he goes the one thing I need them to know is that I am fine don't worry about me don't worry about me because he's acknowledging that oh, but, there's a, but there's a deeper message that your brother has to deliver and the moment that I'm connecting with him he says to me the one thing that he wants you to know is that when he was here in this world he says I'm sorry for what you had to watch me go through because he says to me that he had anxiety and he talks about having a depression here in this world do you understand yeah. that and that he goes please let my family know that even though I was depressed it wasn't because I was unhappy. He says, it was because of the fact I was so misunderstood. That's what he's telling me. He was so yeah. brilliant and he was so smart here in this world. And he's yeah. when I'm connecting with him that he had this inner artist within him. Yes. Like he used yes. to spend time creating things and making things. And he was just, he, he loved music. He was so ah! in it. And he actually tells me that's one of the signs he uses to reach you, that you hear songs that remind you of your brother and of your son and know that that's real. He actually tells me, you know what's weird? He's talking about, he's whispering in my ear about a playlist. So did you keep a playlist of his? Yes. So his iPhone, iPod, some type of a playlist? Yes. yes. So no, it's his way of acknowledging that because he's telling me that sometimes you listen to similar songs that feel close with him. Mm -hmm. So know that that's his way of acknowledging that when you're listening to those songs and saying, oh my God, I feel connected to my brother in this way. No, it's his way of acknowledging that. He oh said, my gosh. When I'm connecting with you, with the two of you, I got to be very honest. I feel like your brother is like still right here. That's how strong his energy is and his presence is. Oh. And the reason why is because even though someone dies, you know, we might lose them physically, but we can't go and ever lose. We never lose that connection with them. And your brother is telling me that he's so close with you because of the way that you still keep him a part of your everyday life. The way that you're still talking about him every day. You're thinking about the good times and the memories and the things that you had with him. And he's also telling me this. He says, to me that you're so upset because you feel like you could have prevented his passing here in this world. And I have a I message. I blame myself a lot. I gotta tell you something. Your son has a message for you and that is you already did. You helped him so much. He keeps saying to me, Matt, tell my mom, tell my sister, they helped me so much. They helped me so much. He says, and the thing that he wants you to know is that you were, he was always very honest with you. He was, yes. he told you what he was feeling. He told you what he was going through his body. He says, but this was something that I could not fight alone because he's acknowledging that. You know. He keeps telling me when I, when he was here, because sometimes spirit will show me things and show me exactly what they faced. And your son is telling me that when he was alive and when he was here, his mind would play tricks on him. Do you understand that? Yep. He says, and Matt, he goes, some days, he goes, I would wake up and I'd be so happy and I'd be energetic. He goes, and I'd want to do things and I'd want to go out. And then there were other days, he says, where 
I felt like people were mad at me. I felt like I was like, like my life wasn't going anywhere. I felt like I had nothing to give to this world. So know that the one thing that he's acknowledging on the other side is that he's free from all of that now. And he's coming through and he's laughing with me and joking with me and doing all of these things because that's how he should have been when he was alive. And those are the things that you all think about with him. Yeah, he was our little jokester. He would have the family laughing and... Matt, does he, does he know how much I love and miss him and how sorry I am that I feel like I failed him? You did not fail him. And I can tell you that. But the thing is, is that he needs you to know that because he's at peace. You're the one who's not. And that's why he's coming through right now. Because, you know, it's been so hard for you to heal. It's been so hard for you, you know, to find a good day within your life because you're like, how can I go and I live without having my son here? He's that there was some type of mental illness that he was battling that he's showing me here in this world. It looks like it was bipolar to me when I'm connecting with him. Yes. Was it bipolar that he had? Schizophrenic yes. bipolar. This is how your son is coming through. And this is how it works as a medium. Is I don't speak in full sentence to the, sentences to them, but they'll show me certain things. And he keeps flipping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's what you experienced here in this world. Where, like I said, one day he was completely fine and he was happy and he was good and nothing's bothering him. And then the next day he was depressed and he was a totally different person. Yeah. And it's so hard for you as his mother because you're like, at some days you thought he was getting better. And then some days he would be worse. And you're like, but wait a minute, I don't understand. And he says to me, first of all, he wants to thank you for respecting his wishes because he talks about the fact that in the beginning you were trying to get him help. Yes, we were. He tells me about you bringing him to different doctors. And then at one point he tells me he wanted to go off his medication. Is that correct? He went off his medication. Yeah. So know that that's his way of acknowledging that choice as well, because he says to me, Matt, nothing was working for me. And that's what he's showing me. And it was so, as, as much as it was confusing for you, it was also confusing for your son because he'd bounce back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Good days, bad days, good days, bad days. And the moment that that depression hit, the moment that anxiety hit, he felt like he never got better. So even though you saw little milestones and you saw your son gradually getting better over time, he never saw that. And your son says to me that the day that he died, he was not in his right mind. And you need to understand that, that that was not him because he's taking responsibility for his passing when I'm connecting with him. And he says to me, Matt, you need to tell my mom. He goes that when I passed, he goes, I was a different person. He says, the real me would have never done this. That's what he's telling me. And you know that. And this is what's so hard, okay? I'm gonna tell you this, I've never seen this in a reading before, but you know, and every reading is different. But your son just said to me, he keeps calling himself the real me, the real me. So when I hear that, that means to me that he had an illness side of him and then the real side of him. So know that the one thing is that he wants you to remember the real him. He wants you to remember the, the side of him when he was happy, when he was smiling, because that was really him. What you saw when he was confused, when he was dazed, when he was argumentative, when he was a different person, that was the illness. That was not your son. I know. And you know, I don't care what anybody says. Doing these readings, I can tell you, especially when I'm, when I'm watching the battle that your son went through, this battle that your son went through was just as if, it was just like somebody who was going through cancer or something similar. It was an everyday struggle. It was an everyday battle. And the pain may have been different, but it was just as real. When your son died, when your son passed away, I felt a God's presence there. Because one <laughs> of the questions that you have, and one of the questions that's still in your heart is, did he make it to heaven? Because one, he didn't believe in heaven, and two, because of the way that he died. And he I believe felt, in heaven. He's, he's telling me he was on the fence because of what happened with his illness. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So in other words, he may, just like he believes in certain things, he believes in getting better. He believes in living and in, in being able, he, like he would talk to you about the future and his life and what he wanted to do. But then the yeah. minute his illness took over, you know, all of a sudden, all those dreams went out the window. He couldn't see things for what they were. So he says to me that what he wants you to know is when he when he had passed away, I'm seeing that moment. And I'm seeing that I, I keep feeling a God's presence there that helped your son to the other side because I'm going to be honest with you. I felt that when your son crossed over, that his guardian angels and, and his angels were there because of the fact that he had done so much suffering here in this world. So know that this is his way of letting you know that he is free. He's letting you know that he is on the other side and that his soul is with you. And one uh -oh. of the 
going to tell you? He's pointing to your necklace. Yes, yes. Her necklace is his thumbprint. Oh, I don't know if I could get it on there. Oh my God. So know that that's his way of acknowledging. He goes, that's me, that's me. And he kept pointing to the necklace. So know that it's his way of acknowledging that when you carry that around and you wear that every single day, that's your son's way of validating to you that he sees that from the other side. He's validating to you that he is okay and that his soul is safe and at peace. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Thank you so right. much. I really, really hope that this helped you today.